Hey everyone, it's Jessica and welcome to this week's thrifting in 2023 video. I have a variety of interesting items to share with you from today's Goodwill trip and I did purchase four items today. I got two items for myself, something for my teenage daughter, and I also found something to use in my home. If you are new here, I do mainly go thrifting for home decor, things that I can use in my home, and I like to pick up gifts for friends and family. So if you enjoy that type of thrifting content, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And also let me know what your favorite item was from today's trip. I really enjoy talking to you guys down in the comments. One of the first items that really stuck out to me on today's trip was this gorgeous hand-painted dragonfly vase. It was $3.47 and I'm sure that it is going to get snatched up pretty fast. So I came across some of these Ray Dunn trays and when I picked up the first one here, it was priced at $2.97, but when I picked up the next one, it was priced at $3.97, so I'm not sure if maybe two people were pricing these. And I found this larger one over here for $6.47. I thought these clear teacups right here were absolutely adorable. I loved the detail on the handle. There were only three of them and they were 59 cents each. I spotted this Coca-Cola trash can right here and I wanted to check the price. I'm not a Coca-Cola collector, but I thought it was a really good deal at $1.99. So I'm not a cat collector, but this plate right here really stuck out to me. I loved the colors on it. I thought it was pretty interesting and I'm sure it's going to get snatched up. I also came across this cat magnetic paper doll kit. I thought it was adorable. I did check it out off camera and it was pretty worn and it looked like some of the pieces were missing. Otherwise I probably would have picked this up for my niece. And the last couple of items that I wanted to share with you guys before I share my haul today were down in this bin. The first item was this brand new package of cat butt magnets that I thought were hilarious. I don't think these were supposed to be in here, but they were $1.99. Everything else in this bin is $1.69. I also spotted this wallet right here. I thought it was pretty cool, but there were some really worn spots on it, so I did leave it behind.
Okay, so you guys know that I had to check out the toy bin before I left on today's trip. I do collect vintage My Little Ponies, but I'm starting to collect more of the modern ones. I found this plush Fluttershy for 99 cents. She was in great condition, so I had to pick her up. And usually when I see one My Little Pony, there's usually another one, maybe more, somewhere in the toy bin, so I always look. And I was really surprised to find this mermaid Pinkie Pie, which I've never seen before. I thought it was too cool. It was $2.19, so I had to grab her. And I'm just gonna use this magic eraser right here to take the price off. So once I got the price off, I figured out how to work her. So there's a sensor on the side here, and when you press it or if you set her down in water, she automatically swims and her tail lights up. I haven't tried her out in the water yet, but she's definitely gonna be a perfect addition to my collection. I also cut the tag with the price off of my plush Fluttershy. These tags are always way too long anyway, and I gave her a good wash before I added her to my collection. And speaking of collection, this is where I added my Pinkie Pie Mermaid. She is on the top shelf of my cube organizer here with all of my more modern ponies. She fits right in and I just love her. Down here in the corner I have this chair and I put my plush Fluttershy next to a smaller Fluttershy that I actually picked up at a yard sale a couple of weeks ago. I got her for a dollar so they kind of look like a mom and baby pair and then down on the bottom I also picked up a plush Pinkie Pie at that same yard sale and then I have my childhood Care Bear down here in the corner. So this is my entire collection of My Little Ponies. They range from 1982 all the way up until 2018. Like I mentioned, I do prefer to collect the vintage ones because those are the ones that I grew up playing with. It is pretty fun to see how they have evolved over the years, so that's why I have been picking up a few of the more modern ones. I did also check out the clothing bin on this particular Goodwill trip because I saw a really nice pair of pink Adidas shorts sitting right on top and I had to check them out. They were $1.69 and I got these for my teenage daughter Hannah because she loves these shorts. She already has a couple pair of these shorts already and they're like $20 so to get a pair for $1.69 was a steal. And the last item that I purchased today was for my home. It was that brand new Staples bulletin board for $1.98 that I shared earlier in the video. I actually needed something like this, so it worked out great. And as you can see, I've already put it to good use. I've added a few things up here already, and this will be a great place to add grocery lists and appointment reminders, things like that. So that is everything that I found on this Goodwill trip. If you're new here, this is Peanut. She is my thrift haul inspector. She did approve of all of my purchases today, even those ponies. She has learned to kind of like them now. But anyways, I hope this video inspires you to go out and go thrifting for yourself. You never know what's waiting out there for you. I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week with a new thrifting video.